Hey, good morning everyone. Uh, before we get started, I'd appreciate it if you haven't already, if you hit subscribe. Also hit the bell icon if you want to be notified anytime we upload anything that's saddle hunting related. And if you like the video, give us a like. We really appreciate your support. Um, I wanted to make a video uh, touching on probably the most frustrating aspect of utilizing rope climbing methods for saddle hunting is the throw ball and getting your throw throw ball over the limb that you want um, and doing so without all the frustrations that can happen like getting your throw ball stuck, um, getting your throw line tangled up in, in um, weeds and that sort of thing in, in the location you're hunting. There's a lot of different things that can go wrong when you're using a throw ball and I found that to be the most difficult and frustrating aspect of the whole thing. So um, we have other videos showing how we throw the throw ball and tips and tricks and you should look at those and try to learn those to the best of your ability but I'm going to show you a way that you can cheat and make it a little bit easier um, and that's by using what's called a DACA pole. A DACA pole is a telescoping pole uh, it's used by window washers and um, you know they have like dusters and that sort of thing for reaching up high in ceilings or uh, putting Christmas lights up in trees they'll use them and I bought this one on Amazon. I think it was about $54, something like that. The pole itself is about six foot long when it, everything's retracted and it opens up to 24 feet. So with your reach, you can get up to about 30 feet with this particular pole. There's also another version of it that's, um, that's longer and that one I think will open up to 30 feet plus your reach. So, but I, I thought this was, this should be fine. Uh, I can probably get about 30 feet with this, which should be more than enough. And <clears throat> I also purchased this attachment. This attachment is used for putting up Christmas lights. Um, it's basically a hook and it's got a little spot on the top. And all I'm basically gonna do is I'm gonna take my throw ball, I'm gonna put it over this, and then this pole will extend. And as I extend it up, it'll carry my throw ball up with it. And I'm gonna hang on to this line and feed it up as I go all the way up. I'll extend it up over the limb, drop the throw, put the throw ball over the limb, and let it go and let it drop down. And that's it. No, no uh, throwing the throw ball. Um, you don't have to worry about it getting tangled in limbs or going in the wrong spot and all the different various things that can go wrong. So uh, I'm self filming here, so bear with me. I'm going to back up to this tree over here and just kind of demonstrate how it works and the limb that I'm putting it over I measured it with my range finder it's 21 feet um, I could reach even higher but I'm just going to show you on this limb for the purpose of the demonstration so check it out So that's it. 
that's uh, that's all there is to it. Um, it's pretty easy. The pole extends out. Uh, one of the things I would recommend to you when you're uh, putting the pole out, you'll find that when it's fully extended, you don't really want to put it out because you've got a, you know about a one pound weight on it and thing will almost bend like a fishing pole. You want to try and keep the the pole pretty much as straight as you can as you're pushing it up. But uh, it works pretty well. You know, I put it up in there. 21 feet in that tree, no problem. I could have reached up even higher, um, but it works. Uh, it's, it's a nice, easy way to do it. Um, I don't see myself utilizing this uh, in season, carrying it in. I guess you could if you wanted to. You could probably paint the pole and carry it in, but the idea of carrying in a six foot pole with everything else I carry in uh, doesn't really appeal to me. I'll probably just bring my, my throw ball bag and if I have to make a move, I would I would try to throw the throw ball. But most of the time, I don't do that. Most of the time, I'll, I'm just staying in the tree that I'm preset in. So for putting in presets, this is great. Um, and uh, I'll probably be utilizing this, uh, you know, unless I have Scott there. Because Scott's really good. He hits it the first time every time. But uh, for those of you that have the, all those uh, that frustration of throwing the throw ball and... Uh, you want to just make your life a little bit easier, this is a way you can cheat and, and do it. So hopefully that's helpful. If you guys have any questions or comments, uh, put them in the comments section. Uh, anything we can help you with, we'll try to, uh, to you know, do so with a video whenever we can. All right. So thanks for watching. Climb safe and best of luck.